Hi everyone. Um, this short video is going to be a lower back care. During this session, we're going to start mobilizing that lower back, um, stretching it, rotating it, finding more opening, um, and reintroducing the curve, the, the lumbar uh, natural curve back in the spine. Because we often find ourselves sitting down on a chair, slouching, compressing that spine, you know, not allowing it to breathe and lengthen and the muscle to be long and um, supportive. So let's start. We're going to start, I call this a butterfly, a diamond shaped leg position. Right, finding that length in the spine. I'm going to go sideways here. So finding that length in the back as long as possibly you can do today. That's not proper English, but anyways, let's moving on. So, lengthening up the back. All right, now I want you to just flap those legs, kind of like butterfly wings here, okay? So just allowing the hip to open, allow the blood to pump back into the hips, okay? Just flap it around, okay? And just breathing. A lot of gravity to help you to open the hips, mobilizing it, and find easiness in the hips. Okay, now let's bring it into a stop here. All right, I'm gonna face forward this time now. All right, let's get yourself, let's get your spine moving. We're gonna reach over to the side and then back, and then some lateral flexion. We open that space in the rib cage. We open the space in the waistline, creating some length in the lower back and the lumbar spine. And again, one more each side. Just keep it moving, you know. And coming back. Okay, some twists. We're gonna swing over to my left. Oh, this is my left and reach out as you in breath and exhale and over reach and exhale again over and back again over and back one more each side and last one Job. All right, coming on to a quadruped position, all four position here. Okay, let's get the shoulders and the hands stacked up, knees and the hips stacked up here. So into a catch stretch, we round that back, stretching that lower back, push it off the floor and back to a flat back and then into an arch and a lengthen, push that floor away, drawing the abdominal in and then into an upper arch. And flexing and extending. And again, flexing and extending. And two more, flexing and extending. The last one, flexing and extending. Coming back into a nice, long straight line here. I want you to tuck the toes under, drawing that center in here, and then push the floor away and we hover. Finding that strain abdominal and finding that strain in your back muscle. Staying here. Two more breaths. Last one. And then if you're up for some challenge, let's tap one foot forward and then back and then tap and then tap. Stabilize that pelvis and the waist and two more each side. One more each side. Center, release, release the feet, round the back once and then flat. Now cross one, knee in front of the other. I have my right knee in front of my left. Now I want you to sit the pelvis back, reach the arms away. 
you'll find a nice stretch in the right glute here and also in the lower back here allow it to open breathing in and exhale and then let's come up and just sit a position here right i try to get both sitting bone down on the floor now i have my right leg forward in front of me i'm going to twist towards my right side i'm going to press my left hand onto my right thigh and i'm going to allow my spine to twist as far as it can to the back and an in breath exhale one more and then release coming on to an all four release the leg over to the other side this time i have my left leg in front of my right and then sit back reach the arms away lengthening the bottom down you can feel it stretch on the left glute and then the lower back too okay and one more breath and then coming up into seated position Try to get both sitting bone down here. And I'm gonna to rotate towards my left side, my right hand on my thigh, and twist my body around. In breath. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Coming back. One, two, all four. Release the leg. All right, now I wanna sit onto your heels. Bring the leg in front of you. Okay. All right, roll yourself back. Arms down, chest open, feet up parallel, less is some pelvic curl here. So drawing the belly in, printing that lower back down, and I'm gonna press the hamstrings up, press the bottom up, one straight line from the chest to the knee. Exhale, roll it down, take it as a little massage for the spine as you do this. And exhale, reach up, exhale down. Again, two more. Exhale to roll up. In breath to hold. Exhale. And the last one. In breath. And exhale. Looking good. Okay, now I want you to cross the right leg on top of the left knee here. Hands, press arms, put the palms down in a little... Um, triangle position here now i need to twist that leg or the body towards the left side head turn over towards the right and back to center and again inhale to the left exhale one more inhale to the left exhale let's go over to the other side to the right exhale and then to the right, exhale, last one, to the right, exhale, and release. Switching over to the other leg, I have my left leg on top of my right. All right, let's go to the right side and head over to the left. And exhale, two more, and exhale. Firmly press those hands down onto the floor and the shoulders as well. And exhale. Over to the other side. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. In breath. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Release the leg. Now stretch the leg closer to the screen. And then bring the other leg, which is my right leg pressing down towards the outside of my right rib cage towards my armpit here actively lengthen the leg on the floor which is my left leg out of the hips as you pull that center in and I'm pressing that right thigh down towards the armpit in breath exhale two more last one Bring the knee right over the hip. Now twist that leg across the body towards the left and then reach your head over to the right for a good rotation stretch here. In breath, exhale, two more. Last one, coming back to center. Release that leg. Okay, other leg comes up. 
same thing actively reach the right leg away now bring the leg on the outside of the rib cage and pressing towards the armpit here and then breathing inhale actively reaching the right leg hold the leg on the floor and an in breath compressing the left hip firmly last one and then bring the knee over the hip pull the leg across the body and then head turning over to the opposite direction inhale exhale one more sorry two more one more coming back to the center lower the foot down okay let's come up here now i didn't tell you to prepare some cushion so you can pause the video right now and get some cushions or pillows. I have three here, you don't have to. Explore as we do the next one, it's my favorite. So I have three cushions. This is just a release for the end of the day. A great one to reintroduce the curve in the lower spine or the lumbar spine. Now, bringing your cushions, your stack of cushion closer to the bottom or the pillow, you know. My feet are in a diamond position on a butterfly. Now I'm just holding the bottom one so it doesn't slip up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just arch back and allow my head to rest on the floor. If three cushion is too much for you guys, you, you can remove one cushion, okay? And I'm going to take my arms to come with over to the other side with my head here. Okay, I'll allow my pelvis to stay nice and heavy. Guys, this is a great one for the end of the day. Allowing the chest to open and doing that compression you do the whole day. And just allow your body to melt and be easy. Okay, you may close your eyes here. Inhaling, opening that ribs. As you exhale, I want you to imagine that your body is just like a melting chocolate, draping over the cushion, draping over the floor. No tension in the shoulder, in the chest. You can even think melted chocolate, oh sorry, melted butter. Anything that is liquid, soft, light. Allow your breath to calm the nervous system. Inhale. Allow your breath to release any tension you have in your body. Just keep breathing here. Let's do two more sets of breath. Now I'd like to invite you to stay here a lot longer. If you have time, 30 seconds, one minute or more. And if you don't, let's come up into a sitting position. So I want you to close the knee. So I'm going to turn over to my left and then bring my right knee over to my left. I'm going to turn my body to my left side, allow my body to just come down to the floor. Okay, take it nice and easy. And then help yourself up slowly. Coming up into a seated position. I hope you feel much better. Thank you for joining me. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in my other class.